Hi there, folks. Freedom Bremner here, president of the Colony Residence Coalition. I want to give a short thank you to everyone who showed up on this morning's Zoom call hearing. It went from 10 till about 1.30. Most of the time was spent in a breakout room where residents of the Colonnade and residents of Newark and other apartment buildings and other tenant leaders talked with Chief Prosecutor Warwick, where she gathered information about our situation. Now, I need to say this. The city lost the case. I expected the city to lose the case. As I indicated in the email that I sent to the residents of the Colonnade, without the law being changed, there was no way we were going to win this case. I thought maybe the city knew something I didn't. No, that was not the case. The law has a huge loophole which allows PF Colonnade to treat our building, our two buildings, 25 Clifton Avenue and 51, as if we were one building. That loophole has to be changed. We have lobbied city council in the past and they have not changed it. What I hoped, what I considered to be the best case scenario from this proceeding this morning is that the city would lose the case and that would give us one more piece of evidence that the city council has failed the people. It is the city council that must rewrite this law. So now we're going to go back to the city council and we're going to say, listen, the city's own code enforcement office keeps coming to the courts and is failing. They failed twice. They've been turned away twice. The case has been dismissed twice because you folks are not doing your job in rewriting the law in a way to protect renters as it was intended to. You're leaving the loophole there and you're allowing PF colonnades to do something that is immoral and contrary to the intent of the law and unsafe. So my hope was that we would show up and guess what we did. The judge made a point of saying that she hadn't seen that many people on her computer screen since March of 2020. And that was what I hoped, that we would come together and our numbers would grow stronger and we would move a little closer to the next step, which is testifying in City Hall. I want to thank all the residents of the Colony, but I also want to thank people like Bill Good and uh, Richard Azira and Mitch Kahn, Janice Afalo. These are all leaders of tenants organizations outside of the colonnade and we they came together to support us and just know we're going to support you when you need us this is how we move this forward this is a renters issue this is a newark issue and if one developer gets away with this kind of thing another one will too and what we're seeing all over newark is this pattern of developers buying properties reducing services jeopardizing people's safety also, they can make a bigger profit, and we can't stand for that. And I want to thank all of the other residents of different apartment buildings who came to support us on this issue because they recognize our issue is their issue, their issue is our issue. That is how we're going to move forward. I will send out information about how we can participate in the next city council hearing on this topic. I will also send out notes. Unlike today, we won't just be observers. We will have the opportunity to testify. Everyone will get five minutes and we can make our voices heard. And we will make the case that for three years, the city council has failed to do their job. And we will present them with language that will close that loophole and put their feet to the fire to do so. And we won't stop until it's done. I thank you for your time. Stay safe, stay warm, it's cold out there. And I will be in touch soon and we'll see you at the next hearing, and hopefully we will see you at a victory. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Okay, so this is just in. I just received a call from the city councilwoman's office, uh, Councilwoman MacGyver from the Central Ward. One of the members of her staff told me that the councilwoman is very upset about what happened today, but that specifically the language that would protect the colony, that would close the loophole, was voted on last year, passed, but for some reason was not entered into the system. So it does not appear on the official record where you find the official laws of the city of Newark. Let me repeat this. According to the member of her staff, I've just been told that 
the change in language was passed by the city council, voted upon and passed. This would have been a year ago, but somehow was never entered into the official record. So, I don't even know where to go with that. I don't even know what to read into that. That's just me conveying information. As soon as I find out more, I will pass it on. Okay, take care, everybody.